Climate change and tourism are inextricably linked. As one of the major industries in the Lake District, tourism plays its part in producing carbon emissions, which contribute towards climate change. These emissions could come from the transport visitors use whilst holidaying here, or from the processes behind producing and transporting food and drink consumed, and in servicing the accommodation used. The good thing is, though, that there are endless opportunities to reduce tourism's impact on climate change. I think people come to the Lake District because of this spectacular environment that we have and they expect um, Lake District businesses and people they meet here to look after that environment and climate change is going to have a massive impact on the Lake District and I think it, 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 visitors expect to see us taking the lead in tackling climate change. We've done some work to measure where carbon comes from in the Lake District and it turns out that there are all sorts of carbon savings that can be made by the tourism industry and it's often by doing things which actually make the Lake District a nicer place for visitors and for residents so using more local food, um, looking at ways to get around that don't involve getting in your car all the time, um, using the, the, the lake uh, buses for the lake boats for public transport, that kind of thing. Um, you can really look at ways of improving the visitor experience and cutting carbon. We've set ourselves a carbon budget, so we've said how much carbon we think we should be emitting year on year, and we're working with lots of organisations to see how we can reduce that. Um, we're working with Nurture Lakeland to look at what, what contribution the uh, um, visitor economy can make to reducing carbon. Um, so for example last week we met with um, tourism businesses to find out what they're doing in their business and how we could support them um, in using more local food, in looking at transport alternatives, um, all kinds of things that would help um, reduce carbon and improve the visitor experience. The Low Carbon Lake District initiative was to try and promote awareness of, of an understanding about what the actual impacts of climate change might be. Mm. Some of it's about the fact to get the message over that the, the, the climate is changing because not yeah. everybody buys into the argument that the climate oh, is changing. Mm. Um, but also trying to explain what people can do themselves and, and understand what people are doing because many businesses and individuals are changing from changing their light bulbs to putting in uh, biomass boilers or putting in wind turbines or whatever it might be. Uh, we felt that if we could um, identify best practice and help people get over the barriers that there might be to uh, to making the changes, that would be a good role for the authority. Yeah. As I say, I think there's something about our own credibility. If we're not doing something ourselves internally, then how can we preach to other people? Yeah, so yeah. we've concentrated a lot on reducing our own carbon footprint. We've got a target of 25% reduction by next year, by 2012, sure. we're already 19% better than we were in 2009. So we are making real on progress ourselves in cutting our own carbon footprint. Park Authority, we've also been working with Nurture Lakeland specifically on the Fresh Air is Free project. What this project does is help people make decisions about what they can do for a day out when they're visiting the Lake District. That might not sound like transport, but it actually gets to the core of what we're trying to do to make sure that people enjoy the environment but don't damage it by uh, the way that they might choose to travel through it. Lots of people want to go for a local walk, maybe a bike ride, maybe get on a boat, or maybe get on a bus to go and visit a local valley. What Fresh Air is Free does is allow people to make those choices a lot more easily so they can have a great day out.